Well, hey, everybody. It's old HRK here, and uh, it's time for another episode of the Weekly Rant. I think we're on, uh, I think we're on 13. Um, you know, so lucky number 13 is kind of exciting. Um, I, I don't know. I could be wrong. If I, if, I, if I knew what fucking day it was, it'd be a goddamn miracle. But uh, we're going to call it 13, and, uh, you know, we're going we're gonna to do the rant. We're going to do the ask a guy or ask me anything or ask HRK. I don't fucking know. We've got that, that segment where people email in their questions and I answer them. And then at the very end, I'm going to spend about two minutes talking to you about um, about a thing I'm doing with the podcast, whatever. Um, so uh, let's get into the rant. But before we do, let me just say that, um, you know, if you like any of this, if you've watched any of this shit and you think it's funny, you know, if you're watching on YouTube, I, I just, just subscribe to the channel. Click the little subscribe button. If you're listening on fucking iTunes or uh, Spotify or whatever, subscribe, rate the show, feel free to comment, send me a fucking email, I don't give a shit, call me a piece of shit, I don't care, you're probably right, um, but like, you know, I value all that feedback, and um, I've just, I've encountered so many people that say they listen, but they don't subscribe, and uh, I, I genuinely appreciate that, but like, subscribing is the name of the game, so, you know, if you're listening and you like it, subscribe, that's it, let's go. So this week's rant is about, uh, I don't know what I want to call it. I, I, suppose, I suppose I'd call it like how like BDSM, I don't even know what those fucking letters stand for. They're like trending on Twitter. It's like it's, like, it's, like it's cool now to like post memes about like wanting to be like choked or whatever. Um, so let me start by saying like I've never like been making out with a girl and like given her a, like a soft choke or a hair pull or whatever and her and had her like not like it so i get it like i know it's real you know i, I get it it's whatever it's whatever it's fucking super awesome but my point is that i don't think some of you bitches are as into it as you suggest that you are you know i'm drinking so i'm drinking a, uh i'm drinking a monster a sugar-free monster and vodka out of a uh, styrofoam cup Got a bottle of screwball here, which I may rip a shot of later. And then, uh, and then I got a bush, a bush light, a bush latte to stay lean and mean instead of the Michelob Ultra, as they say. Uh, I started working, started bartending down in Grundy County, and I feel like bush lights, the uh, Grundy County is the bush light capital of the world. So, so I'm bringing bush lights to the table today for, uh, in honor of, uh, you know, Morris, Illinois, Grundy County. Representing. Anyway, it's got a variety pack. Um, so whatever, BDSM. So my point is, I don't think everyone's as into it as they fucking think they are. You know, I think that like, sure, you know, you can, a, a, a gradual, you know, choke or a light hair pull. I mean, that's fine. But you bitches post memes like you want to like be legit roughed up. I mean, I don't know, man. You know, it's, it feels a little fishy to me. Um I'm not against it. Look, you come over to the house, I'll throw you out the fucking window. I don't give a shit. I'll do, I'll do whatever you want. I'll fucking, you know, no problem. But I just think, uh, I think you're all a little suspect. I think you're doing it because it's, it's trendy. Or, you know, maybe you do, maybe you do like it in like, in like a real low, like a real low decibel of the, of the term. And, and here's, let me, let me just get into why I think this. So, I had uh, an encounter with a coworker in the past and, uh, and she was like, she was like telling me that, well, was, so look, so sometimes you'll start dating someone and you got to like kind of navigate through that, through that physical part of the relationship where you figure out what each other likes. It can either happen by like going through it, you know, trial and error or whatever. Or you can like, sometimes you'll be like on the second date and you'll just start talking about it at dinner, like what I like, what I don't like, or over drinks or whatever. Um, and then other times you'll like just, a person will be attracted to you and you'll be attracted to them and you'll just kind of start flirting. And then you'll just be like, okay, we're going to slam. Like, what, how do you want it to go? Well, that was this scenario, you know, it was like, well, how, how do you want this to go? You know? And so the point is this girl was like, coming across like she was like super into all this stuff, which is like I said, fine with me. I'll fucking, you know, I'll, f <laughs> I'll fucking throw my TV at you if that turns you on. But um, so she was like, 
well, I like to be called names. And I was like, well, fucking right. Awesome. I just, listen, nobody calls names better than me. <laughs> if you follow me on social media, all I do is call girls names fucking all day long. No problem. I got a fucking laundry list. Well, she was like, so I was like, yeah, yeah. But I didn't say that. But I was like, yeah, yeah, sure. I, I Whatever. Yeah. And then she's like, but, you know, but not the B word. And she, she literally said the B word. She's like, not the B word. And I was like, oh, all right. You know, I thought like, well, maybe she had some past thing where someone, you know, maybe she, maybe she was like dated a guy for a long time. He used to just call her a bitch all the time. Made her feel bad. And she's like, you know, don't, don't like, not like, and she was like fishing around these words. <laughs> like, like we're 40 fucking years old. You could say whore. You know what I mean? But she's like, you know, don't, don't call me a whore. And I was like, okay, you know, that leaves like a, there's still a couple left. And then she's like, you know, and then and not a slut. Well, where I come from in terms of, you know, sexy time name calling, that leaves one word and it's the worst word. And then she's like, and not the C word, not the C word. So that's, that's all the words, you know? So I was just like, so at that point, I, like, I don't like to make fun of a girl before I've had sex with her because I'm trying to have sex with her. So I was like, okay, yeah, that, you know, I get it. <laughs> but, you know, but what do you want me to fucking call you? Do you want me to call you a fucking jerk? You know, you, you want me to call you an idiot? You have, you have like a, you have like a Dwight Schrute fucking office fetish. You want me to just come in in like a mustard colored shirt with a tie and be like, you idiot. What do you fucking want from me? You know, you want me to call you a bad mom. You want me to, uh, you know, I don't know. Tell you your house looks like shit. Make fun of the car you drive. What the fuck else is left? If I can't call you a bitch, a slut, a whore, or the C word, which I will literally say the C word because I don't even feel comfortable saying it on a podcast. During sexy time, I cannot think, literally cannot think of what else that other fucking word would be. Like what? Yeah, you know, whatever. You, whatever. You, everybody knows what I'm saying. I don't need to give more examples of funny things I could say that aren't the actual thing. My point is this. Sure, everybody likes uh, a gradual fucking, uh, you know, hair pull or whatever. But to suggest that you're like really into something like that, like people that are really, it's like if you wipe down the counter a lot and say i'm ocd like if someone that was really really fucking had obsessive compulsive disorder heard you say that they would be like hey fuckhead you're not ocd i am and i know because i deal with it every day and it's not fucking cool it doesn't just mean my apartment's clean it means i gotta turn the light on and off 14 times snap my fingers twice and go before i fucking leave the house like that might have been a combination of ocd and Tourette's. i don't fucking know i'm not smart my point is like my point is, I think we just live in like a, a time of exaggeration, you know, um, but there's a, there's a big difference between liking your hair pulled a little and, you know, being really into that kind of stuff. So I think everyone should just tread lightly. That's it. Tread lightly. Um, that's it with the rant. That's it. That's the rant, you know, piece of cake fucking flew through it. We're going to do ask a guy that's right now. Ask me, ask HRK, ask me anything. I don't fucking know. I got to work. Listen, instead of emailing me questions, email me what I should fucking call this part. Um, but let's go. First question. When is the best time to break up with your girlfriend? That's, that's a compelling fucking question. Because like, I've literally stayed with girls longer than I wanted to because it was good for me. You know what I mean? Like maybe... Um, you know, maybe like, maybe like, well, it would be like out of convenience. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe you got a place lined up, but you can't move for a month. So you stay with your girlfriend for a month or maybe like, um, she's, I don't know. Maybe she just fucking takes you to Panera every day for lunch and you want to fucking ride that out for a little while longer, you know, I, whatever. Like my point is like, there's, there's instances like one is until it's best for you. Like that's option one, right? Option two is when it's best for her. So like maybe she's going through a super fucking hard time. Like maybe your girlfriend's living with you and like has nowhere to fucking go and you cannot stand this fucking girl. But you can't throw her out on the street. So you just kind of ride it out for a little bit, right? You know, until until she's in a better spot and then and then you end it. 
Um, then option three is like before you kill each other or before you start seeing someone else. Um, option five would be like after you start seeing someone else. That's scandalous, uh, whatever. But I think the point is um, they're all slippery slopes. You know what I mean? You do like, like you can ride it out because it's going good for you and you can ride it out for two fucking years. You can let, you can, you can, you can let her date you longer without breaking up with her, even though you don't like her because you feel like she needs you, you know, and you can drag that out forever. You know, you can, uh, you can be having a super awesome affair and hide that forever. Like my point is there's a zillion reasons to not break up with someone yet. But at the end of the day, I think you got to pull the fucking trigger, man, you know, because you're not doing anyone any favors uh, unless she's staying at your place. And then, you know, I don't know, break up with her, but let her stay for a while. She'd probably, you know, or fucking throw her out. If she doesn't have kids, throw her out. She's a fucking adult. Get the fuck out. Whatever. Let's move on. Do guys like when girls shoot their shot? Uh, I do. You know, I think it's flattering. I, listen, all these things about guys, this goes along with like, do Oh, I did a I did a, a a perfect drink on like do girls like to be hit on at the gym and do guy it's it's it goes hand in hand with that and it's basically just if the girl's hot sure if you like the person you want them to go for it if you don't like them you don't um, and that doesn't change like regardless of who shoots their shot if you like each other it's a go and if you don't it's not so the point is if you're a girl and you like someone you know fucking let them know and if they don't like you back then whatever, but it doesn't, it's no different than if you wouldn't ever gone for it, except now, you know, so, you know, go for it. That's what I say. Fucking go for it every time. Unless you can, on, there's nothing people are worse at than admitting someone's out of their league. But if you can be honest with yourself and you know, they're out of your league, maybe don't do that then because, you know, rejection's a bitch. All right, next one. Uh, how did you get the, how did you get HRK as a nickname? I don't know. I think uh, like 10 years ago or so, I, uh, I worked for, I worked for, when I, you know, I got in my early twenties, I think that there's different ways you can describe guys you can, uh, or and girls like, but like a guy can be like handsome or he can be hot or he can be sexy or, you know, whatever. I think I'm handsome. I, I don't think like, I don't think people can be go, that guy's hot. I don't think people look at me and say that guy's sexy. I think they just see this face right here, you know, <laughs> and they see that guy's a handsome guy. So like ever since like my early twenties, you know, old ladies have been grabbing my cheeks and going, man, you're handsome, you know? And then I got uh, about 10 years ago or so, I started working uh, at FedEx and they called me handsome Ryan, handsome Ryan Kimball uh, over there. And then Gabe, uh, when we did two guys in tequila podcast with, with my good buddy, GSJ, he started calling me HRK and then it kind of just went from there. So, I mean, I don't know, you know, the, but the proof's in the pudding, you know, look at this face. How can you argue? Uh, last one. What's the best way to break up with someone within five minutes of meeting them? Well, I mean, if you're dating someone already within five minutes of meeting them, I'd say, the problem isn't how to break up with them. It's why the fuck are you dating them? But I think what you're really asking is like, if you're five minutes into a bad date, like a bad first date, how do you get out of it? That's what I, that's what I feel like you're trying to ask. Just took a, took a swig. And I think the answer is I'm going to pour a shot while I'm talking about this. I think what the answer is, is, you know, there's a, there's a multitude of, of ways. Um, oh, there's one more. There's one more question after that. Like, um, I've heard girls say that, like, they'll fake go to the bathroom and literally leave. I've never heard a guy say that he would do that, but, I, you know, I don't know. Whatever. The point is, leave, like, literally just, like, popping ninja smoke and just dip, fucking Irish goodbye, just dipping. That's a good way. On a first date, if you're never going to see the person again, you don't owe that person anything. You know what I mean? Especially if they misrepresented them, misrepresented themselves. You don't owe them anything. So you're more than welcome to be like, I got a phone call. I'm going to take this and then just fucking slip out. Um, you can like, what I always do is I just set the date up for 45 minutes. I'm like, 
I'm like, listen, I got a little bit of time. Let's meet for one drink and see how it goes. You know, I've just got a little bit of time. And that way, even if it's bad, you can be like, well, like I said, I only had 45 minutes, so I got to go. And I've talked about that a lot, so I won't expand on it, but that's a way. Um, GSJ, my, Gabe, Gabe will be like, I don't like you. <laughs> like, I can tell this is a waste of time, and I'm not going to waste any more of my time. Uh, I think that's like, I think that's the way to fucking live your life because time's valuable. And I think he understands that as good as anybody. So um, that's my buddy, Gabe. I don't know how long you've been around, if you know that or not, but uh, he does that. That's fucking effective. But I think, uh, I think the, the most important thing is that however you do it, what you don't do is you don't be super polite for five hours Drink so much that the person starts to be kind of cute and then kiss them goodnight, which is how I handle it every fucking time. So, um, and then the next day I got to fucking like, I got to like use, I got to like, you know, dodge bob and weaving to fucking make the person not like me anymore. And that's a lot slippery of a slope than just saying, ah, see you the fuck later. So basically every way except the way that I do it, which is, which that model applies to every way anyone could live their life is just whatever the opposite of I would do. And when I do this podcast, the advice that I give every time is the opposite of what I would do. So that's how I know it's right. Um, and then I had one more. Wait, hold on. Okay, use my face ID. There is okay. Uh, is it okay to swipe right on people you know in real life? So like you're on a dating app, you're swiping, and then you see someone that like you know, a coworker or whatever. I say fucking yes, man. I say go for it. Because here's the thing. If they swiped you left, they won't know you swiped them right. And if they swiped you right and you swiped them right, then, you know, fuck, what are they going to judge you for swiping them right when they swiped you right? It's a fucking, it's a, it, there's no, there's no, there's no bad thing about it. And, uh, you know, listen, I guarantee every one of us, I guarantee every one of us has a person in our life that has a crush on us that we don't know about. And maybe we have a crush on them too. So, you know, if you see someone you know on there, if you, wanna, if you don't like them and you want to swipe left, by all means, fucking swipe left. But if you like them, you have nothing to lose by swiping right. Worst case is they don't like you and nobody ever knows. Best case is they like you back and, uh, you know, you go on four dates, have weird, awkward sex and uh, break up. And that's it. And then you got to see each other every day for the rest of your life knowing that that happened. Sounds pretty fucking awesome to me. Um, so that's that segment. So we got through the rant. We got through the ask me, whatever the fuck ever we're calling that. I promise by next show, I'll have that. I'll have what I'm calling that down. Now, here's the last part. The last part is, first of all, I'm, uh, I'm, on, a, I'm, on, a, I'm on a Facebook ban Right now, I said I said girls are morons or something. I said it in my own comments to my own post. I don't I, I don't know. I didn't know I couldn't say girls are morons. I thought that I could say that. Obviously, I don't think every girl alive is a moron, but it was just like a thing that people say. Look, I've posted literally. I've posted. If Kenny Chesney and Adolf Hitler wrote a song together, it would be called "No Jews, No Shirts, No Problems." I wrote that as a post, did not get in any trouble. And then I write girls are morons as a comment to my own fucking post and I get in trouble. It's so fucking dumb. The world we live in gets dumber every day, but it's cool. I'm with it. Point is, I'm on like a, I got like five days left on this ban. Uh, so I couldn't, so I couldn't like get out there and talk about this. But the point is, uh, I do the perfect drink vlog, right? Uh, where I, where I make a cocktail and like, I, I'm essentially just like doing stand up. I'm basically just like, telling jokes while I make a drink. What I'm going to, and then I do the tequila review. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this podcast. The weekly rant is going to change into a podcast called the perfect drink. All these episodes will still be on there. They'll all be the same. Just moving forward. We're going to call it the perfect drink. I'm going to make a cocktail in like the first two and a half minutes of the podcast. Just like tell you how to make it. And then we're going to, we're going to relate the podcast to what would be the rant you know, as we do the weekly rant. So, um, you know, so like I'll do, uh, I'll do an episode on sugar daddies and we'll make a dirty martini for all those dirty old men out there. And, uh, you know, and we'll, 
you know, we'll talk about sugar daddies and I'll do a rant on sugar daddies. Uh, and that'll be it. And then every now and then I'll slip in a tequila review just for, for shits and gigs. But, um, but that's it. So nothing changes on your end. You just click subscribe and everything's great. The point is like from now on the moving forward after, you know, in like a week, the podcast will be called the perfect drink, not the weekly rant. Um, but nothing changes on YouTube. If you're subscribed already, nothing changes on Spotify or uh, iTunes or whatever. And, uh, you know, that's it, man. I don't know. I had a great time. I got fucking 15 drinks here in front of me. I got to figure out which one I got to do next. I think I'm going to do a shot of this screwball. If you bear with me here, you can do it with me. We're pouring her up. Super fun. Down the hatch. And then uh, we'll chase we'll chase it down with some uh, bush light. Home of, uh, uh, in compliments of Grundy County. All right, team, I had a great time, and we'll see you next week on what was the weekly rant and what will be the perfect drink. Can't hardly wait. See you then.